All right, here we're going to make a spile for tapping a maple tree, and these hold a milk jug, like so, and won't blow off. And this little extension puts the drip right inside the bucket so it can't blow away. And these work really well. I'm using soft pine here, but I recommend these maples, these maple dowels, three-quarter inch. They're going to hold up better, but I'm out of those, so I'll just show you how to make these. So the first thing is we need a 15 64 inch bit for the main shaft then a 5 64 inch bit for the hole for the catch. Some of this uh, tubing, um, I don't know what size it is, but if the outside diameter fits that 5 64 inch hole really well. Nice and snug. And it's the cheap stuff. There's some more expensive stuff that's more flexible. This is the stiffer stuff with a bigger inside diameter. So we'll start with the main hole here, straight down. All right, now it's not super straight, so see that wobble, you want to stop it at the top, right about there. And we want to know where up is because that means the end of the bit is closer to the bottom and that's where we're going to drill in. and then. That's the angle down will let the sap flow a little better. So we'll just mark the end and we'll put it in the vise. So the arrow goes that way. So the bottom is right here. We're just going to go straight in, kind of split the difference between the mark and the end. And then we're going to angle it right into the end of that shaft that we just drilled. And we cut out oh, about three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch, like so. And that fits nice and snug, like so. You can see all the way in there. There you go. So now we can carve our notch. That goes straight up and down now so the arrows pointed up and we go about a half inch in and I carve it out with a Dremel here and I'm using a grinding wheel I, a steel brush works too but that it'll wear out so I'm trying this one you can saw it too a little saw if you want and instead of going straight I angle it a little bit because the spile will be angled down from the tree so the sap flows Try that. Ooh, pretty good. Now we drill the hole for the for the catch. About there. And instead of straight down, I go eh, slightly like that. Then when you turn that catch, it will kind of tighten up against the It'll press against the dowel more because of that angle. Just do a little loop on the end, like so. And straighten it out a little. I'll measure it a little, just and like that will be fine. And brace it against the vise, pound it over. Let me cut it off. About like there. So you're left with that. And then press it right in. Like so. And I'm gonna angle it a little more. And then I'm gonna put a little notch on the end. For it to sit nice and snug in. I'll pound that down so it sits nice in there. And there you go, it's all over but the carving. So I'm doing a 7 16th inch hole in the tree. So we'll just carve it down until it fits mm, about three quarters or so into the hole just tested these a couple days ago we had really high winds 15 mile an hour gusts 
and I had this out all day and the jug didn't blow off so and the 7th 16th inch hole in the tree should be about an inch and a half to two inches deep I guess about three feet up from the ground on the south side of the tree so the sun warms it up as much as possible sap flows better and that's just about perfect there so you can you can call it quits there you can sand it a little bit if you like and there you go there's your spile pretty good so if you have any questions just let me know in comments thanks